Yeah, we're just going to open the meeting up. We'll be, you got time. Okay. Um, we're going to open up the uh, special session of the Board of Works for July 15th, 2019. Uh, everyone is on um, Board of Works is here. Um, and we have people in the audience. So we're here for one matter and um, regarding a disciplinary, disciplinary action and I'll entertain a motion. You're looking for a motion from one of us. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, uh, I'd like to make a motion that we terminate Mr. Kemper's employment. Second. I don't think I can make a second. You can do it. I don't think I can. I, I can break a vote, but I don't think I can make a second. This afternoon, then. Kelly, can I ask you a question? Sure. If I second, then when you ask for a vote, yes, I'll second. Okay. Second it by Mooch. All those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Aye. Rule one to one. To one. Uh, I'm the tiebreaker. And I'm going to support the motion. So, Your Honor, if it pleases the Board of Works, let the record reflect that uh, present today at the published public work session uh, is the Board of Works consisting of Mayor Kelly Milan, Paul Seymour Jr., and Alan Calloway. Uh, present also is City Attorney Del Weldon and HR Director Jenny Felix. Present uh, as well as Troy Kemper with his union representation, Mike Laning and Scott Rich. There was a motion um, from member Paul Seymour that was seconded by member Alan Calloway to terminate Mr. Kemper effective immediately. That motion was supported by Mayor Milan and Paul Seymour Jr. It was opposed by Alan Calloway. That motion passes uh, two to one. Let the record further reflect that Mr. Kemper has been provided the investigative report of the Human Resources Office as well as the accompanying exhibits um, which lay out the factual basis for discipline here today. Mr. Kemper has been given ample notice and an opportunity to be heard and an opportunity to present statements both in written and oral form, as well as witnesses in any audio or visual documentation that he would like the Board of Works to consider before making their decision. Uh, he was placed, the, this alleged incident occurred on April 25th, 2019. He was placed on paid leave April 26, 2019. And based on the uh, vote of the Board of Works today, his employment will be terminated effective immediately. Um, for the record, you stated in there we have been provided everything. I don't think we've been provided the video with the audio, and I'd like to request that at this time. Okay. And for the record, Mr. Kemper uh, was provided the video with the audio. Oh, by you guys. Thank you. Yes, the, the union's requesting a copy of that. I don't. I'm not the best on how to play them, <laughs> but I'll figure it out. But if I could get a copy of that. Yeah, I will get you one. Okay. Are there any statements or comments that Mr. Kemper would like to make or the union on behalf of Mr. Kemper? Yeah, I had a question. Um, typically, and maybe it's for Jenny. Jenny, when, does, when would he receive a COBRA notice? 
any any questions that you would have would could be answered offline. This is an opportunity to make statements, not ask questions. Oh, we can deal with that later. And it's just, I don't want to put her on the spot. You can ask any questions uh, of HR after the work session today. Oh, okay. Thank okay. you. Sorry about that. No, that's okay. Anything else? Nope. Oh, okay. Yeah. I entertain a motion to adjourn.